What's up? What's up? How's everybody doing today? Again, get active in that chat room. Hit me up. How y'all doing? Yep. It's a good day today. I'm going to be reviewing the Beat Studio Buds. I can't wait to see these. I can't wait to see these. I can't wait for you to see these. I've already been using them. <laughs> hey, y'all. What's up? What's up, King of the Hill? How's it going? We're going to get started here in just a second. Let some people join in here. What's up? What's up? What's up, Max? How's it going? Just grooving. I guess I do have them in my ear already. Pretty comfortable, pretty stylish. You like the red background too? I'm trying to match today. I can't dress for nothing, but I'm trying to match the lights. <laughs> and do all that good stuff. What's up, what's up? Let's get started with this. Let's get started with this. All right, so this is going to be a review, a live review of the new Beats Studio Buds. So these are pretty interesting. Um, I think what Apple is trying to do with these is to have these kind of be a good midway point between the regular AirPods um, and the AirPods Pros. And so these Beats Studio Buds fit in really nicely. And especially for the price, uh, these cost $149. So for these, you're getting... Um, something that is, again, it's cheaper than the $250 AirPods Pros, more expensive than the AirPods. But if you're looking for something that has A and C, has a transparency mode, has some of those features that you can find in the AirPods Pros, these might be the ones for you. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do some comparisons. In this review, I'm going to be doing some comparisons with these and the AirPods Pros. But look, by no means are these like miracle workers. These are not going to uh, be better than the AirPods Pros for $150. Um, so... You don't have to worry about that, okay? So it's I'm just going to do some comparisons so you kind of have like a baseline, an idea of where these kind of fit and how the performance kind of stacks up to those for, again, $150. So um, what you get with this um, and the unboxing experience here with the Beat Studio Buds is that you're going to be getting kind of the, that standard things that you find with Apple products. You're going to get a bunch of different documentations and also you get a little bit of a uh, free uh, Apple Music there, so that's that's nice. I guess you can listen to some of that new spatial audio goodness, uh, which these are compatible with spatial audio in Dolby Atmos. And of course, you get that familiar Beats logo there. Now, also, you do get multiple ear tips, so you get small, medium, and large. And I do highly recommend that you do try these out to get the right fit um, and the right seal. And these do come in three different colors. You get them in white, and you get them in black, and also you get them in the red that I chose to go with for these. Um, now, when you take the, when you first look at the case, and I, I did drop it there, um, the case is pretty dope because it is smaller. It is way smaller than like the Power Beats Pros case, uh, which was a just a super dynamic case here, as you can see. Um, now, those are bigger earbuds because they actually have ear hooks, so it's kind of understandable. But this is just a, a good idea about the size difference that you're getting with these. Um, but then also to compare it to the AirPods Pros case, it's you know it's it's right there. It's still a little bit bigger than that case. Um, but these are still very pocketable. These are still very easy to go in your, your pocket. Not going to take it that much space, and I like that. Now, one thing about this case, though, is that it does not have wireless charging, unfortunately. Uh, but it does have a USB-C port that you use for charging. So no lightning port with these Studio Buds, just USB-C. And here's another side-by-side -side comparison with these side-by-side um, -side with the AirPods Pro. So it's kind of interesting that they went with USB-C instead of Lightning because, you know, personally, I kind of feel like these are... So I think these these are kind of the AirPods for Apple that are for, like, everyone, for Android users, for anyone. And that's the way they're positioning this. And I think a, a big part of the USB-C and also the added Android support here that you'll see is just that Apple wants to make these a little bit more welcoming to people, especially if you might not like Apple. <laughs> you know, uh, you might be a little bit more prone to maybe like the Beats brand, which is a, still a very, very strong brand. Now, um, going through the, just the setup and the pairing process. So, you know, these don't have any of the, like, Apple chips inside of them as far as, like, the H1 or W1. So that's pretty interesting. But you can still just open up the case. 
Um, and then it'll still uh, have this kind of quick pairing feature where you just need to tap connect and then boom, these are going to be connected and ready to go. Now, without having the you know H1 or W1, W1 chip inside of these, these won't be able to have like uh, iCloud syncing. So uh, once you sync them on one device, it'll work on all of your like Apple devices. You don't get that here like you get with the AirPods Pros. Um, but still you get very quick, fast pairing uh, with that device that you do uh, pair them with. Uh, with this and then also too you have those kind of standard controls like you do have with the AirPods Pros where uh, you can open up the control center, you can control the volume um, and then also too you'll be able to control or go in, in between the noise cancellation mode and also the transparency mode. Uh, now let me skip ahead here and so you can also control these um, in these settings. Um, so once you go into settings, you still have the ability to control those things I just showed you, but also too, you can control the actions of the left and the right earbuds. Um, so this does have, um, this does have Hey Siri support, um, but it does not have like, you know, Google Assistant support where if you are using these with Android where you can say like, Hey Google or something, it doesn't have that. But you get Hey Siri support here, um, but you can, you know, choose to choose which earbud does which, whether it just goes between um, that if you wanted to. Um, and then also too, going back here to the pairing process, um, let's see here. Oh yeah, also too, this doesn't, this still does have the e regular EQ support. I still kind of a little bit bummed that they don't have like the full EQ where you can actually control the different, you know, waves thing and stuff like that. But you, st you still just have a bunch of different presets um, here for, you have a lot, you know, depending on the genre of music that you're listening to, or if you like a little bit more bass, you can turn that bass up. Um, and this is just hanging out in the settings option, just like normal. Now, uh, <laughs> you can take a look at Baby Yoda right there uh, with the earbuds in. So again, these uh, do work with Android, so you can download the Beats app for Android, and you can also be able to control these um, if you wanted to, to be able to control all the things I showed you before. But this also does have fast pairing with Android. So you actually will be able to, let me go back here. So you actually be able to just open up the lid on the case just like you did with uh, Apple um, on the iOS device and then you'll be able to get this very uh, quickly paired to your device with no issues. Now once you get this thing paired um, in the Beats app, again you can go between the transparency modes and noise cancellation modes and then you also have the option to be able to uh, change the actions of the earbuds when you do tap on the Beats logo button um, as you can see here inside of that app. So I think that's about it for that. So um, one thing I would say with these is that, let me take them out of my ear actually. So they have a button here, the B on the, um, on the earbuds is actually a button that you can press, actually above that you can press. Um, so not really on the B, but right here above it. Um, so when you do do a long press, you'll switch between the um, uh, transparency modes and the active noise cancellation modes or, or just turning all of those off. Um, then when you do like a single press, of course, you'll play and pause your music. Uh, double press will be able to allow you to uh, skip your song and then triple, pe uh, uh, triple press will allow you to go back um, in your songs. Um, now, one thing I would say is that uh, the design of these is actually really excellent um, because what you get with these is that the controls are here at the top. So you're able to kind of grab, you're able to kind of grab right here and then be able to put these in, in your ears and also take them out. So what this means is that you're not going to have, so you're not gonna have like accidental touches uh, because once you take these out of the ear, you just grab the side of it so you have less, less of a chance to actually hit the button, which I like. Like something with the AirPods Pros, um, I, I still do find myself grabbing the stem in order to take them out of my ear. And so that can allow you to have like an accidental squeeze and that can you know, mess up like your playback controls or something. But yeah, just being able to take this in and out of your ear just by grabbing that side is really nice. Now, as far as the overall fit and feel of these, um, I have to say that they're pretty, they're pretty solid. So definitely a different approach from the AirPods Pros, again, that, that do have that stem. These just kind of go in your ear um, and they take up a little bit more of the inside of your ear, but these kind of stay in put. And that's one thing I do like with these over the AirPods Pros because they're not gonna come out, right? <laughs> they're not gonna come out. Um, you can move around, you can do a bunch of different things. These aren't gonna come out of your ear easily. Um, and yeah, so when I was just like walking around and stuff, um, they felt comfortable. They didn't get uncomfortable over like a, I think I, the longest I listened to these was about about two, about, uh, like an hour and a half, close to two hours uh, when I was walking around and doing some things and they never got uncomfortable. Um, they actually have like a little vent um, on them as well to help with the, the pressure that's on the inside of your ears. So definitely for long listening sessions, these were comfortable. Um, and I just really like the fact that 
unlike the AirPods Pros, they just don't move, you know, over time. Like with AirPods Pros, I do find over time they would sometimes kind of move out of place and I will lose that. Now, also because of the design with these, you will find that um, these will have kind of really good passive noise cancellation better than the AirPods Pros. So even if you have like ANC off, maybe if you're trying to save battery life, uh, these are going to be able to block out a little bit of, of the noise just by default with the design of these. Um, but let's talk about ANC. So let's talk about the active noise cancellation. So these are not better than AirPods Pros. Again, I'm going to, you know, compare them to them, but they're just not better than it. And it just means that I still just hear a little bit more than I would hear with the AirPods Pros. Um, so I don't know how these would perform on a plane. I haven't made, been able to uh, test them out on a plane, but these definitely wouldn't be the first choice of the different earbuds that I have. Um, but with that being said, it still is better than nothing for sure. Um, and it does a, a decent job at blocking out noise. It's just, if you're looking for, you know, uh, the, the best in active noise cancellation, still you're gonna have to spend a little bit more. Um, but for the price range of these, uh, for $150, they're definitely kind of top of the pack for that price. Um, so that's definitely a good thing, a good strong point for the price point. Now, when it comes to the transparency mode too with these, um, I would say that, um, it sounds a little bit, it doesn't sound as natural as, as the AirPods Pros. It sounds a little bit more processed. You know, you can kind of like hear it, you know, doing this thing, doing this magic. Um, so I'm trying to like find a good way to explain it. So it's, it just sounds like the audio coming in doesn't sound as it would if you didn't have anything in your ear as good as it would with something like the AirPods Pros. Um, it still is good, still is decent. Um, but yeah, you're not going to get maybe some of that clarity with people um, with, uh, you know, maybe people talking as much as I would uh, with other more expensive earbuds. But again, for $150, these are <laughs> the transparency mode is, again, one of the top of the packs for that price range. All right, so, um, and then I already went over the controls here for you and also the pairing process. So again, make sure if you do have any questions, hit me up in the chat room, right? Hit me up in the chat room with any questions that you might have. I'll be looking through here, making sure I don't miss anything. You're just watching and reviewing these and got your notification. <laughs> Instant click, streaming green. I appreciate you stopping by. Hey, from Russia, what's up, what's up? I love Russia. I went to uh, St. Petersburg about 10 years ago. Yes, the red does look good. Red looks good. Yeah, I went with red uh, just because, one, I think it looks good for the thumbnail, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> but also, I typically go with, like, uh, you know, black for my earbuds, but I like the red on these. Oh, what's up, man? Smooth and loud, appreciate that. You keep up the good work, man. You're killing it. Uh oh, what's good, man? What's good? Back again, I see. Uh, you just pre ordered these. You love your Sony W1000XM. Uh, I don't know what number you, you mean to say with those. But yeah, Sony makes some good ones too. All right, so yeah, this was a good point. You might have to get these because your pros keep falling out of your ears. Yeah, my AirPods Pros, like, when I lay down, when I, if I'm using these and I'm laying, laying down on, on, in the bed or on the couch or something, they slip out of my ears, right? So they, they just don't, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the ear tips or something, but I try like other third-party ear tips, but uh, just the design of them, they just don't stay in your ear as good as these, but these definitely stay in my ears with no issues, right? Like, so these are going to be really good for working out. I did go for a run uh, with these in and they held in, in place. And one advantage I do like um, uh, for these over something like the power speed the Power Beats Pros is that um, these do have that transparency mode. So when I am running, I do like to use that so I can hear people coming behind me. Um, I can hear cars and stuff like that. Um, so even though I love the Power Beats Pros because they have that ear hook design, so they are even better to be, you know, stable and not fall, you know, out of your ear. Um, I, I do miss having transparency mode on those. So you do get those, you do get trans uh, transparency mode with these, and that's definitely a, a good thing. So I really like that. Um, now let's talk about battery life. So um, when it comes to battery life, these get you, so if you have active noise cancellation on, and I, <laughs> I find myself talking louder with these in, uh, but if you have active noise cancellation mode on, you get about five hours of listening time, which is about the average uh, for earbuds these days. Uh, the Sony XM4s definitely you know, push that. Uh, they give you way more listening time, but of course they cost way more money. Uh, but yeah, five hours of listening time with these in your ear. Um, and then the charging case itself, when you do have ANC on, 
Um, when you do combine that with the charging case, you'll get a total of 15 hours of listening time. So um, that's good. So that's a pretty good amount of time. But if you are trying to just conserve battery life as long as possible, um, you can turn ANC and also transparency mode off. So don't, don't have any of those off. And then you'll be able to get up to eight hours of listening time with these. Um, and then when you had those things off and you combine that with the charging case, you can get a total of 24 hours of listening time. But again, that's with ANC and transparency mode off. So I'm happy with the battery life. It's about, it's about average, about what you expect these days. All right, so how do, how do the uh, Beat Studio earbuds sound in comparison to the AirPod Pros? Good transition. Let's talk about the sound quality. So, um, you know, honestly, I'm not an audiophile. I always say, these, I always say this when I review headphones. Um, the sound quality, when, I honestly, when I was listening to some, some music in, uh, in Apple Music, it, it sounded close to me, you know, when I was just listening to things. I think the AirPods Pros have a slight edge. Um, but I would say that these beats are some of the more balanced uh, uh, beats that I've like probably the more balanced that I've ever heard out of all of their products, which can sometimes be a little bit more bass heavy to really focus a little bit more on the lows and stuff. Um, but these have a really good balanced sound compared to other beats products. Um, I, I'm not going to use them over my AirPods Pros just for sound quality, but honestly, I listened to a bunch of songs and I was trying to listen for a difference and you know, listening to like uh, Dolby Atmos songs, it sounded really good. I think they did a good job with the sound quality. Um, for the price. So in this price range, it's one of the best that I've used. Um, and just off of listening, I, I wouldn't mind, you know, using these for, for, for the sound quality. So really good job. Again, the most balanced pair of Beats um, headsets, headphones, earbuds, or whatever that I've, that I've used. Um, so again, you can go into the EQ and turn that bass up a little bit more if you want to. But I think right out of the box, they sound really good. And of course, spatial audio, you know, Dolby Atmos sounds really excellent on these too. So yeah, pretty rock solid when it comes to comes to sound quality. Uh, so these are the Power Beats Pros. I would have to say, you know, I honestly, if I had to choose one at this point, I would choose these because of the ANC, because of the transparency mode. Uh, the Power Beats Pros, the one advantage that they have, as, a, as I just mentioned, is the ear hooks. So they're definitely not coming, you know, off of your ear. If you want to lay down and use them, or if you're working out doing a lot of jumping and stuff like that, those are kind of like guaranteed to stay in your ear. So for working out, the Power Beats Pros have that advantage, but that's about it. Um, but outside of that, these these buds, these buds definitely have um, the advantage in part in pretty much every other kind of category with that. So. Yeah, take that with what you want for working out Power Beast Pros, but for everything else, I, I will go with these uh, Studio Buds here for sure. Uh, IPX4, yes. As far as the water resistance, these are rated IPX4. So you know, basic splashes, you know, getting sweaty, stuff like that, walking in the rain a little bit. These are going to hold up really well, so you don't really have to worry about that. Now let's, also, now, let's try to, let me see if I can do this. All right, so I'm going to see if I can give you a live test of the call quality with these. So with these, you get, um, they, each earbud has three microphones on them. Um, and so when you are using these for, actually, let me, before I explain, let me go ahead and switch over. Hopefully this works. Hopefully this works. And... Okay, so the audio that you hear right now should be coming straight from the Beat Studio Buds. Are you all hearing these? Can you hear me? All right, you can hear me. All right, so one thing I did notice in my test that I did before is that um, when you start talking with these, the so these have microphones to be able to help drown out that outside noise around you it takes like a one or two seconds sometimes for it to kick in um but the audio quality was the sound quality from these is cool right it's it's it's, it's cool um on apple's website they're gonna have a lot of like technical jargon and about what they're doing with these um i, I don't think that these these definitely are, won't be my number one choice when it comes to taking phone calls on these um, but they're, they're decent, but when I was using them outside and I asked someone how it sounds, they can, they can still hear things, so it's not a miracle worker when it comes to uh, blocking out noise in the background, and maybe you can hear it a little bit um, here, but it, it's good overall, but I think that's something that 
um, definitely can be improved on these. Now, one thing to note is that uh, when you are using these for uh, using a, a phone call or something, um, if you only use one earbud in your ear, it will use all three of the microphones to be able to help give you the best sounding audio for a voice call. Um, but when you use two of the earbuds together, it would use five out of the six uh, microphones. So uh, three each, but it's only going to be using five. So um, our, my recommendation is if you are wanting to use these for like a, a phone call or something, use both earbuds in your ears to kind of give you the best chance to have uh, better sound quality. So what do you what do you guys think of this sound quality? Let me know in the comments. What do you think about the uh, audio quality for these? Would you would you like to use these for like a phone a phone call or voice call? It's all right, King of the Hill. Yeah, it's all right. It, it, it's all right. Definitely, you know, you know, Apple did like, uh, you know, I saw just a lot of technical stuff behind it, and I'm pretty sure they're doing all of that stuff, but. Uh, yeah, when I when I asked someone back and I listened to like a voice recording of the audio with this, it was it was it was OK. It was, it was OK. Nothing special with that. All right. So I'm going to switch back over to my other microphone here. OK, so we should be back on the microphone. You can let me know if the audio is still good. Doing that live switching is always always a little risky, <laughs> always a little risky. Um, so do these sound better than the AirPods? Yes. So just between the regular AirPods, these do sound better. So um, these definitely sound better than those. And again, th this is where Apple is trying to put these right in the middle. So not as good as the AirPods Pros, uh, better than the AirPods right there in the middle for you. And I think it's a smart thing. It's a smart thing to do it for this price range. I think a lot more people will be more comfortable spending $150 on this um, versus $250 for the AirPods Pros. Even though those AirPods Pros have been out for a while, you can find them for under $200 in some places. Um, but still, you know, spending $200 on earbuds. Uh, I, I know a lot of people that just they, do, they just won't do it no matter how good they are. But they still want something that's uh, better than the regular AirPods. And these fit right there, right there nicely in, in, the, in the middle there. Now, also, too, um, so, you know, kind of my main thing with these, I would say, is that these Apple made these really for Android. Like, OK, so they, they work well with Apple products, of course, but you don't have like the H1W1 chip inside. So, again, you don't get that out, the iCloud pairing or syncing between all of your devices. So you can't like have these working with your iPhone and then easily switch over to your iPad or your um, your, uh, your Apple TV or something like you can with like the AirPods Pro. So you don't have that type of functionality with that. Um, but with the USB-C charging case instead of Lightning, that tells you that they're kind of like making this more kind of open to people who may be using Android devices right now. Um, and this also does work with Find My in the, um, uh, for iPhones. So if you do lose them, you can find them. But this also works with Find My device um, on Android, so you do have that capability. So that's a, another big thing that Apple is, again, is more open to kind of explore Android more uh, with these versus they would with something like the AirPods um, or the AirPods Pros because it, it really comes down to branding, right? <laughs> the AirPods is Apple's baby. You're not going to hear them, you know, really praise Android or really want to show, you know, people using them with Android devices in, in their marketing or anything. Um, but with these, you know, you can probably see that they're, the Beats group in underneath the Apple umbrella has a little bit more leeway, a little bit more flexibility, and they're a little bit more open to embrace uh, competitors and embrace those things. So yeah, these are definitely like the AirPods Pros for Android um, in a way. So they kind of fit really nicely there. And I, and, I, and I respect that. I respect that that Apple still lets Beats kind of do their own thing. And we've all seen like the leaked photos of LeBron James and other athletes already wearing them like so I, I think that I'm pretty sure Apple, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Apple probably gave them the okay to do that, um, right? So you can see that the different type of guerrilla marketing tactics that uh, Beats has is kind of what made their DNA um, one of the main reasons why Apple wanted to pick them up. So these are really good. These are like a really good, the closest thing to like Apple's AirPod Pros for Android. Um, how the noise cancellation compared to the AirPods Pros? Not as good. Not as good. Um, so yeah, I, I wouldn't trust these on a plane more so than the AirPods Pros. And if I had to give like a percentage how worse they are compared to the AirPods Pros, I would say maybe maybe 20%, 20% worse than the AirPods Pros. Um, and that's even with the passive active, uh, the passive noise cancellation when you just put these in your ear because they do make a really nice seal in your ears. So when you do get these in, um, 
you know, you already, without anything on, like um, I can already hear some of the noise blocking out. But even with that, the AirPods Pros, um, even with them not being able to make as tight of a seal, in my opinion, in my ears, um, the, 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 noise cancel the active noise cancellation is better on those. But again, as I always say, the AirPods Pros still do move a little bit when they're in my ear and uh, these don't move. So I don't have finding myself adjusting because with the AirPods Pros, if they do slip out of your ear a little bit, you lose some of that goodness with the ANC and also just the overall sound quality. So it's a give and take on that. Um, I, I think this would be fine for just normal, like pretty much everything outside of a plane, right, for me. So, um, and honestly, usually the only time I really use ANC with, with earbuds is really when I'm on a plane. Like when I'm in the airport, I, I typically like to have transparency mode on so I can hear like the agents and stuff. But really only when I'm on a plane, that's when I really want to use <laughs> ANC. So uh, I haven't tried them out with that, but uh, I'm not thinking that they're going to hold up. They're, not, they're definitely not going to hold, hold up as well as the uh, uh, AirPods Pros. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Uh, I missed this uh, question before the other one. So um, on a scale of 1 to 10 for the act active noise cancellation, I would give these a... I'll give these a, I'll give these like a seven, right? I'll give these like a seven when it comes to ANC. I would give the AirPods Pros maybe like a nine, and then I'll give Sony like a 10. Like the Sony uh, X and 4s, I'll give those a 10. So I'll give these like a seven when it comes to ANC. Can I turn up the volume on my mic? Is my microphone kind of low? Let me, uh. Turn these up a little bit. All right, got to turn it up just a little bit. Yeah, I tried it, like I had to turn that down a little bit. Volume, please. Okay, everybody's asking me for the volume. Just a little though. How's that sound now? Is it a little bit better? Okay, so how about now? How's it sound now? Okay, saying it sounds fine. All right. All right, again, ask me your questions in the chat when we got any questions. A lot, of, a lot of questions just about the general sound quality. Uh, King of Hill, living in the world of wireless headphones is tough for you. Um, you run a lot, and in this Missouri heat, the sweat always breaks my wireless. Yeah, I, well, I haven't had that issue uh, with anything breaking, but uh, which, which earbuds have you been using? Uh, which headphones have you been using? Yeah, I, I generally, when I run, I put on the PowerBeats Pros, and yeah, they've been, they've been, pretty, rock, they've been pretty rock solid for me for a while now. And I went for one run, and it was all right. It's still quiet. Huh. Huh. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Was it quiet before I switched over to the uh, Studio Buds, or did that happen after I switched? Are these sweat proof? Um, yeah, they're, they're rated IPX4, so yeah, they're, they're sweat proof. So working out and stuff like that is fine. And these, these Beats are, the Beats headphones are always a, kind of advertised for like athletes and stuff, so yeah, they're good. So when I was walking out here, look, I, I generally sweat a lot. I wasn't sweating this much right here, but um, <laughs> I do generally sweat a lot, especially when I'm working out and stuff, and it was, it was fine. You hear me? Audio's good? Okay. All right. Yeah, I was wondering the risk of changing to those things. It was quiet before. I think I know what the issue is. I'm using Streamlabs, and I'm just using my uh, OBS as a virtual uh, webcam. So, yeah, the next time I stream, I'm just going to go through. Um, I'm going to have to go straight through OBS to make sure I get that. Uh-oh, that was messed up. And I'll talk a little bit louder. What's my workout routine? Well, I go to McDonald's. I get a nice, healthy uh, 
McGriddle. Um, then I then I stopped by Bit Burger King to get the the French toast sticks. Delicious, double syrup. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, yeah, I I usually every other day. I, I like I I really just started working out again. I, I was kind of lazy for the last year. Kind of let my body heal up and stuff. Um, but yeah, I go for a run every other day, and then I'll hit the gym every other day in between that. Um, yeah, I've had some back issues, some knee issues over the years. So I actually like for the last year, I really haven't really done a lot. So I'm just kind of getting back in the groove. Will I be dropping a full review? This is my review. <laughs> like with, with this, it's like pretty much, you know, with these earbuds, it's not like everything we covered in here. This is like, this is the review right here. Live, live for you. Um, yeah, I kind of went over everything with, make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, yeah, I went over all the features, um, the, the volume controls, all that stuff, the volume quality, audio quality, all that good stuff. Yeah, it's a, it's a good pair of, ear, ear, of, of earbuds. It kind of like sum up everything. Again, I think this is Apple's answer for Android and other users and people who just might not be fans of Apple themselves, but they might be a little bit more prone to still like the Beats branding and the Beats logo. Um, these definitely still do have like, I think these have a really good shot at capturing a market, especially with the advertising um, and the way that you're going to see a bunch of athletes. LeBron James already got them. Like it's, it's still one of these brands, it's like one of these really good brands that I'm glad that Apple's kind of letting it still kind of be themselves. Um, and um, yeah, I, I, I can see these still being really successful, right? Being really successful, especially with athletes and stuff, just for, you know, the clout of, of using that Beats logo. Um, is there an equalizer? No. So yeah, there's no like, like full on equalizer that you can get. So you can change up the EQ in, um, on the, um, let me show you here. So you can change the EQ in the settings, but it's basically just a bunch of different presets um, that you have in iOS. Um, so they have a bunch of different presets for a lot of different genres of music. So you should be able to find something that you like, but you don't get that full you know, EQ you know, controls that you might get with something like the Sony XM4s or really a lot of other uh, earbuds like the Sennheiser's um, Momentums that, that give you way more kind of options to be able to really customize that sound. And the same thing goes for the Beats app. Uh, you don't have any uh, kind of, uh, um, I don't think it has really any EQ controls in the Beats app. Yeah, there's no EQ, EQ controls in the Beats app, I believe. So you can just kind of change up the controls as far as the touch, the, the touch controls and stuff on it. Uh, but that's about it. Um, Power Beats Pros are, the, uh, are these buds. I would go with the Studio Buds right now. So the Studio Buds for me would be um, the one that I, I would choose overall because of the, uh, of the ANC and the transparency mode. Um, and they still work well for working out because they, they get a really nice, really nice seal in your ear. So I, I would choose those right now. Put these in. Look at that. How I look. How I look. How, how your boy look right now. I'm about to drop a, I'm about to drop a hot 16. No, yeah, you, you don't want my 16. <laughs> Uh, the G's uh, support lossless audio in Apple Music. Yeah, you can still do the you know spatial audio. You can do all that stuff. You just got to make sure you enable it um, in the um, uh, in the settings um, in iOS. But yeah, you can listen to all those formats that you can listen to, um, just like the other uh, other products. But yeah, so the one thing I, I would say just about these is that, yeah, I wish it did have some of that. Well, again, I understand. I, I wish it did have some of those chips inside of it that gives you those, those, those features like the AirPods Pros, H1 and W1. I wish it really had those to give you that, you know, you know syncing and, and between all of your Apple devices and stuff. But again, then that would just be like making it too much like the AirPods Pro. So Apple is definitely going to save the best features, the best hardware and stuff for their Apple branded uh, products and the Beats. I mean, I'm not saying like they're not in a bad way. They're skimping out in a way, yeah. But they're, again, they're not trying to charge you $250 either. So uh, in a way, they're just not going to make these on the same level of the AirPods Pros. But for something that may be a competitor on other, like for Android users and stuff, I think it's, it's priced in a really good spot. So I, I definitely understand the reason why they did it. Because if Apple, if Apple gave these the same things that the AirPods Pros have, then it's basically why don't they just make like an AirPod 
you know, you know, workout, you know, uh, you know, pair of uh, headphones or something that's more geared towards that, right? It wouldn't make sense. So yeah, just keep the Beats um, branding, and I, I, I really like that with Apple. I respect that. Um, would I wait for the next version of the AirPods or just get these? Um, volume sounds fine. I'm watching the iPhone. I want to have you turn halfway up so you can hear me. Okay, cool. Um, the next version of the AirPods. So, I don't know. The, the issue is I don't know when that's going to be. It could be the fall, right? It could be the fall. Now, which AirPods are you talking about? Are you, are you talking about just the regular AirPods or the AirPods Pros? So, if you're talking about the regular AirPods, I don't think they would give those A and C. I think the regular AirPods are maybe just will have like a, a better updated design, so they'll be more erg more ergonomic to fit in your ear better. But I don't think they'll give the regular AirPods A and C. I, I think they'll just be regular. I don't think they'll get transparency modes or A and C. So these are definitely going to be better uh, in, in in that category. Now those AirPods would be cheaper than these, you know, I'm assuming, but um, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, you don't get losses. So, so you can still, like, download losses on your iPhone and stuff like that. But, yeah, you're not going to be able to get that. Um, you get spatial audio. You get Dolby Atmos. But you don't get lossless with these uh, Bluetooth devices. I misspoke earlier. Sorry about that. People keep saying my volume's too low. So some people say my volume's too low. Some people saying it sounds good. I wonder what's going on here. I'll try to talk up a little bit louder for you. Um, how long did I get to test these? Uh, I've been using these for about two weeks now. Yeah, I think so for about two weeks I've been using these. And they're good. They look good. Biggest thing, I just like the case is like way smaller than the case for the uh, AirPods, for not the AirPods, but the PowerBeats Pros. Let me make sure I put these in the right way. Um, so yeah, so again, you do get the USB-C port on these. Uh, you have a little indicator light right here to let you know about the battery status. Um, and the button to be able to activate if you need to just um, have these paired via Bluetooth or something um, is right here in the case um, where on like the AirPods Pros, that button is going to be on the back of it. So. Yeah, overall, yeah, these aren't going to come out of the case easily. They passed that shake test in the case. Um, yeah, that's solid. That's solid. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> um, is the base better than the AirPods Pros? No, I don't think in any respect the, the audio is better in any like respect than the AirPods Pros. You know, so what I said earlier with these is that I think that the um, these are really balanced. So they still you have the base, but unlike other like previous Beats products, you know, they, they haven't they're not they're just not like super punchy, right? The audio sounds really balanced all all around. And again, I you know when I did want some bass and some of the music, I just went into the uh, the settings and I did the EQ and did the bass booster, and that that worked for me. That gave me enough bass to where I was happy. Um, but yeah, these aren't like super bass forward like you might have expected in the past, which to me is a good thing. I like really good balance um, sound quality, so I like that with these. Um, but the bass still sounds good. These, I mean, I, again, I went between these and the AirPods Pros for um, many different songs, and there were some cases I can hear a, a, a difference, um, but a lot of times for my non-audiophile ears, these sound really good, and especially listening to uh, spatial audio, so it sounded really nice. Um, any other tech I've been testing recently? Well, I do have the, uh, I'm going to need to do my review of these. So I got these last week, late last week. Um, so these Sony XM4s, these are like the, I mean, these right here are kind of like the top of the line, right? Top of the line right now. Just so good. Even before I do my review, these are just excellent. Like if you're looking for, like, I really think these might be able to replace my over the ear XM4s for my travel. Because I want to use the over-the-air XM4s for like when I'm on a plane because the noise cancellation is so excellent. But the noise cancellation on these is pretty is pretty close to those. So I might be able to use these 
um, on a plane, unless I'm doing like an international trip, <laughs> that's going to be like seven, eight, nine, ten hours, and I still would want to use over-the-ear um, headphones. But most of my flights are like two to three hours at the most. Uh, it really, honestly, most of my flights are like 90 minutes to two hours. So I wouldn't mind listening to earbuds for, for just that amount of time. So, yeah, so I, I need to do my review on these. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do that live as well. Let me know how you like these live reviews. Um, so I'm deciding whether I want to do this as a live review or do like a uh, just a produced video for that. But yeah, let me know what you think about these live reviews. I think it's a good format just to be able to interact with you guys um, live. You can ask me your questions right now. You don't have to ask me a question in the comments, right? Um, so you can ask me the question in the comments like on a regular YouTube video, right? Um, so you can ask me that and I can address them live. And yeah, it's a good format. And also, I don't have to do the editing. Editing is a, the, <laughs> the suckiest part of video creation a lot of time. Um, is the AirPods better than Beats? If you're talking about the regular AirPods, no. The, these, uh, the, these are better than the, the regular AirPods. They're not better than the AirPods Pros, but they're better than the uh, regular AirPods. Um, yeah, I think that answers it. Um, how's the hinge on the case? Is it snappy um, and robust as the Apple AirPods? Let's take a look at it. So just open it up normal, like so. And you can snap it with one hand. So it doesn't like, it's not, it's not flimsy. It's not just going to fall down, you know, really easy. And let's do a comparison with the AirPods Pro's case. Yeah, same thing. It's not going to come down easy. Actually, this, you know what? The AirPods Pro's case, um, the, the lid does move a little bit when I do it with that. Now, that, that just might be just because I've been using them for a longer time. So yeah, that really doesn't move that often. But yeah, it, it's similar snappiness to the case. Uh, 2014 nostalgia right now. <laughs> I know. I've been doing this a long time. I'm an old man. I'm an old man right now. The old man in tech. Uh, should you buy this? I, I think these, I, I think these studio buds are for people who um, you just want something better than the AirPods, but you don't want to pay AirPods Pro prices. Um, and so, yeah, these are just that middleman, that perfect middleman. So I think, and as far as I can tell from the, for the time being, for $150, this, you know, these kind of are like a really good default choice uh, for people who are iPhone users and also Android users. Um, so then especially for Android users, if you just kind of want a little bit of that fit and finish of an Apple product, uh, these are good. Um, the Beast app is solid. Um, the, volume, the, volume, the, the audio is really good on these. So, yeah, these are definitely something I can recommend for the price. And I would recommend to most people um, who are just looking for that step up from the regular AirPods. Should you buy these over the Galaxy Buds? Which ones are you talking about? Are you talking about the Galaxy Buds Live or the Galaxy Buds Pros? Um, so I wouldn't, so these aren't, these aren't better than the Galaxy Buds Pro. Um, the Galaxy Buds Live, yes, these are better than the Galaxy Buds Live. Um, and the biggest way for that is that the Galaxy Buds Live do have A and C, but it's nowhere near like your traditional A and C in a sense. It's, there, the A and C on the Galaxy Buds Live is only meant to kind of drown out like certain frequencies and like it's, it's, it's just not really reliable at all. So these do have better A and C than the Galaxy Buds Live. So I definitely would recommend on that. And also the transparency mode. Um, yeah. So yeah, I would recommend these over the Galaxy Buds Live, but not the Galaxy Buds Pro. Um, does the color look odd or is it fine? What do you mean? What do you mean about the color? So the red looks good. Now the camera, my camera might be like distorting it a little bit, but it looks like it's the same Beats Red that you may come to expect. Uh, but these do also do come in white and also black. So you do have those options. Three color choices. Um, does auto switching between Apple devices work? No, you don't get that with these. Um, so yeah, you just have to, you have to pair them with um, each device. You do, get the, um, you do get the quick pairing as I showed you uh, here. So when you just open up the case for the first time, it will pop up on the bottom of your um, iOS or your Android device and give you that very quick option to be able to get this paired very quickly. Uh, but between your Apple devices, yeah, you just can't like 
you know, move around to your iPad, get close to it, and then allow it to, uh, and then it'll switch. You can't do that with these because it doesn't have the Apple chips, um, those chips inside. Red looks fire. Yeah, the red looks good. Like, this is the, like, the one, like, Beats products are definitely some that I will get in red. Uh, I like their, I like the red that they chose for this, that they choose for all of those. Um, am I on iOS or Android? I'm on everything. <laughs> I'm literally on everything. I'm on freaking WebOS still. No. Um, yeah, I, I honestly, because I test so many Android devices, I'm usually on Android more just because it's way more Android phones coming out through, throughout the year. But I'm on, I'm back on my iPhone um, using iOS 15, and I'll be having some coverage on that. So I just definitely want to just try out the, the beta for that. So I'm using my iPhone more. Of course, it's always good to be able to use the Apple Watch. Um, with that, so yeah, but I honestly I use I use both platforms, like especially when I'm at home, I, I switch between everything. I'm using the Galaxy Z Fold as a tablet um, to play games or to watch videos on it, um, but then my iPhone just works with everything, all my other Apple products. So yeah, I use a little bit of everything. Um, is this better for iOS or Android? Um. I mean, on, on iOS, you get a little bit more kind of, you know, with the EQ and you get other things. Um, it's not really that big of a difference between your iOS or Android experience, to be honest with you. Again, these do support, uh, these do support Find My, uh, the Find My app. So for your iPhone, if you do lose them, you'll be able to have a good chance to find them. And also they do support Find My device in Android. So yeah, the support between Android and iOS is pretty, pretty close. So I wouldn't say there's a like significant difference to use these with an iOS device over an Android device. Um, yeah, in my opinion. Um, should you upgrade from the AirPods Pros, not the AirPods Pros, but from the AirPods 2? Yeah, these are a step up from the AirPods. So you get ANC, you get transparency mode, um, and I think you get a better fit. They look better. Yeah, I think these are a really good solid upgrade over the AirPods. You're definitely not going from the, the AirPod Pros uh, down to these, uh, but going from the regular AirPods to these, this is a really good buy. And even with the rumors of the next, you know, version of the AirPods coming out, um, I don't, you know, I don't think I don't think Apple would release those so close to releasing these. So we might not see like the regular AirPods until the fall. But I, I just, I doubt, I doubt that they would give the regular AirPods anything like transparency mode or, or like or or, uh, or ANC. So. No matter what they do with the AirPods in the next version, um, yeah, I just don't see um, them adding features and things like that that will rival these. Does it connect fast on Android? Yeah, it's pretty fast to connect on Android. You still have that very quick pairing on Android to be able to, um, as I showed you before as well, when you're pairing it with an Android device. Uh, you have that Android fast pair, and I'm getting to it, getting to it, getting to it, getting to it, and right here. So, yeah. So, yeah, with your Android device, you just open up the lid, and it'll pop up on the bottom, just like you find on iOS. Um, and then it just takes a couple of moments there, and then you'll be paired, ready to go. And then in the Beats app, you'll be able to control the transparency modes, noise, noise cancellation modes, um, and also so you can control the functions of the... Um, when you press and hold on the earbuds to either change between your transparency mode and active noise cancellation or to activate the voice assistant. And so, yeah, one thing I would say compared to like the regular, someone asked me, are these better for like on iOS? You do get Hey Siri support with these. Um, you don't get like, you know, Hey Google support. Uh, with an Android device, you have to do the, the tap and hold um, with the button on these. So yeah, so that's one way that these are better to use on iOS uh, because you do get Hey Siri. Uh, so you can use Hey Siri or again, you can still just tap on the, uh, the button. And as I said before, like I really like the, is that a gray hair right there? I think that's a gray hair. Your boy getting old. Your boy's getting old. <laughs> but yeah, I do like the, the buttons on this. So um, when you just tap, I like that it's a little bit back towards the back of your ears so when you are pressing down. It's not like you're digging in um, in your ears. Some some earbuds have the button like right here, and when you press in, it go it just makes the earbud dig in. This is towards the top, and yeah, I mean it's nice. Um, yeah, so controls are really good, pretty awesome, and these, these fit like these fit in my ear 
I don't really like feel them. I'm not paying attention to the, the fit and feel of them. So they have a really nice, good, good feel in my ear. Um, then they're not as bass heavy as previous beats, uh, headphones and headsets and stuff. So I, I personally like that because you can, you, you can always turn up the bass and the EQ on, on, on iOS. Um, but these are the, some of the most balanced pair of uh, earbuds from Beats, and, I, and so I like that. The, beats, the, the bass is still there. Don't get me wrong. The bass is still there. It's not like it's really flat or something, but um, um, if you're looking at, like, trying to, if you're just, like, a super bassy person, I think you're still going to want to, like, just go into the EQ and iOS and turn the bass booster on. No problem. No problem. Anytime. Uh, AirPods Max or Sony headset? I'm assuming the Sony WH-1000 XM4s, the over-the-ears. Um, I would choose, like, I would, so at home, I use the AirPods Max just because they sync with everything I have in here, Apple TV and stuff like that. Uh, but when I'm traveling, it's easy. The, the over-the-ear XM4s are my number one choice. They, they fold up and they're more compact, so they fit better in my bag. The AirPods Max are just like a solid metal piece with the band. Um, it doesn't collapse or fold or anything. Um, and then two, I would say that the A and C on the XM4s are, are slightly better than the AirPods Maxes, and they're also uh, the uh, XM4s are lighter as well. So I'm able to wear them for a longer period of time, and not to worry about that. And I really do like the feature of just being able to start talking, um, and then the uh, XM4s will lower the volume and then allow you to have a conversation. And then when it notices that you stop talking, uh, it will turn the volume back up. So. Yeah, for pretty much besides home use, I use the uh, Sony uh, XM4s. Is there input delay when used for recording? No, not really. Um, I played a game. There's a little bit of delays when I was playing like a game. Nothing like super um, annoying or anything. Um, but yeah, when using it for recording, like I recorded, I don't think I have it on here, but I recorded like a video when I was walking. Um, using my phone and yeah, there was no, no delay for me. Yeah, so you can listen to Dolby Atmos um, spatial audio uh, with these and, and yeah, and that, and that works. So yeah, you can't, you can't stream, um, you can't do like lossless on anything over Bluetooth, but you can use the, uh, you can use the AirPods, you can use the AirPods Pros, you can use AirPods Maxes and you can use these with the uh, new spatial audio and Dolby Atmos for, for Apple Music. No problem. No, you don't get any of the uh, Apple chips inside, so that 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 so that doesn't give you the uh, ability to do those kind of different things as far as being able to switch between your devices. You don't get that with these, unfortunately. You still get the quick pairing, but you don't get some of those things. So yeah, I think just think that Apple is like just holding those for their Apple branded you know products. These Beats products aren't going to like I don't think we'll ever see them kind of being you know introducing groundbreaking new features. Um, that Apple has been working on. These will kind of be like, these would be like a generation behind. Like I think all the new Beats headphones and headsets will be a generation behind um, the, uh, the Apple um, branded products and stuff. Uh, can you tell my name? I don't know. Dion? Can you tell my name? Um, let's see. Yeah, no purple. No purple, Brandon. No purple. <laughs> uh, I think I already answered this, but I answered it again. Uh, ANC compares to the AirPods Pros. It's about 20% worse. Um, it's, it, it's, it's, it's good for $150, just not better than the, uh, the AirPods Pros. So it's about 20% worse. But again, I'm not an audiophile. So, but for me, just listening to stuff, like, it, it's... 15 to 20% worse, not really, but it's not like, uh, so yeah, th these wouldn't be my first choice to use on a plane. I, I'm pr again, they're going to be better than the regular AirPods on a plane because they do, they do have some type of ANC. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like with the AirPods pros, I was able to use them on a plane and be, and be fine with that, but barely. Right. Um, and with the Sony's X and fours, I'm assuming I'm going to be really happy to use these on a plane by a, a really decent amount. Um, with, with the beats, I will say that, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I would be, I think there would be too much audio coming in, but I, I haven't tested that out yet, but I'm thinking there, there'll just be too much noise coming in from the plane or something, um, versus the AirPods pros. 
But if you don't find yourself on a plane that often, <laughs> like if you're using this for walking around outside or you're at home, the ANC is going to be fine. Um, have I tried the call quality just getting here? Yes, I did. I'm, I'm not going to switch back over to it because I think something happened when I switched over the audio. Um, something happened when I switched back over to my, uh, my, uh, my other microphone. But um, if you go back in the stream, I think it was, it was maybe like 15 minutes into the stream. I did do a, a, a call quality test with these. So you should be able to hit that, um, go back using the DVR feature to be able to hear it. Um, most people say they sounded just okay, and I felt the same way when I did a, a, a call quality test uh, a few days ago. It's okay. It's okay. If you are going to be using these to take a phone call, I do recommend using both earbuds because you will be using five out of the six microphones in combination to be able to block out that noise and hopefully pick up your, your voice better. When you only use one of the earbuds, it, it will use all three microphones on that particular earbud, um, but the best kind of scenario for you to get really good um, or the best type of call quality that you can get with these is to use both the earbuds. Um, you heard the case is slippery, uh, slippery. You were going to snag a pair for the gym, but I don't want them slipping out of my pocket. Yeah, I would say... This is a very scientific test. <laughs> um... I don't know, like, do I think it's going to slip out of my pocket? So these are slippery, slipper, slipperier, slipperier um, than the, <laughs> the case for the AirPods Pros. Um, yeah, it, yeah, I guess it does depend on, on your shorts that you wear. These might be like, I don't know. I, I don't think they're that slippery where I, I think I would be concerned with these falling out a lot. But you might be doing some, like, really intense jumping workout or something. So... Uh, I don't want to tell you that it's not going to slip out if you are doing those type of things. Uh, I just think this is like normally, like if you're sitting down, getting up and stuff, I don't, I don't know. I don't think it's going to, to just fall out. I don't think it's that slippery. Um, but I'm assuming D-Brand, D-Brand will, will probably, probably be making some type of skin for this case um, eventually. So <laughs> that could definitely help. Uh, these are available right now, so you can order them right now. I think I do have an Amazon link down below um, in the description of this video. Um, yeah, but as far as like if you can go and like pick them up in the store right now, I'm not sure. Maybe. Check Best Buy. Check out Apple Store um, to see, but I know you can at least um, get these online. Yeah, Spatial Audio support is here. Um, Dolby Atmos support is here. Just make sure you're listening to those songs in uh, Apple Music. Um, but yeah, you do, you do you do get that here. Um, basically, these are like the SEs of Apple's audio accessories, but with the Beats logo. Are they worth it? You know, actually, yeah. You know, but that's not definitely that's not a bad thing. You know, the SE is still a great phone. Like, it's a really great phone. I, I would say, but you know, I, I would just say that. Um, you know what? I don't know. I wouldn't say that these are like the SE. I would think like compared to like. So you got the iPhone 12 Pro, right? That's the AirPods Pro. And the iPhone 12 would be, you know, these. It would be like these, these Beat Studio Buds. That's where it would kind of fit in. And then the regular AirPods would be the iPhone SE. So, um, yeah, so I, yeah, I would do that analogy for that. So are they worth it? I, I think they are. If you want to step up from the AirPods, these are definitely worth it, right? If you want that Apple kind of fit and finish um, in some of the things and stuff, and you like the design and the look at these, which... I think in the Beast logo, you feel, if you like all that stuff, like these are just a fun pair of, uh, of, of uh, earbuds. These are definitely worth it for the $150 price range. They're definitely cheaper feeling and cheaper performing um, earbuds for around this price range. Um, but yeah, for $150, I, I don't think anyone like, what do you guys think about the price? And when I hear $150 for these, I'm not like, oh man, you know, the Apple tax or anything. So I think for $150, these are a really good buy, a really good buy for people. But what do y'all think about the price? You like the price? Um, it's not in Canada yet. Ah. Yeah, let me just see. Let's go to Apple's website. They're not even like advertising these on Apple's website. At least on the home page. Yeah, you got to go to like, <laughs> so 
So yeah, you gotta go to like you gotta go to music, and then you can either go to beats, or you can just scroll all the way down on the uh, um, Apple website before you even see these things. So yeah, so it looks like yeah, these ship on June twenty fourth. Um, according to Apple's websites, these will ship out on the twenty fourth. Uh, but you can go ahead and, and buy these if you want to right now on Apple's site or Amazon, uh, and then I'm assuming Best Buy too. I think. Um, how's the ANC? The ANC is good. It's about fifteen to twenty percent, you know, worse maybe than the AirPods Pros. Maybe a little bit more closer to the fifteen percent. Um, plane use, I don't know if I, I would want to use these on a plane, but I think for everything else, every other scenario, I think it's good. Uh, do I think the look and design of these is hinting at what we'll get with the AirPods Pro 2s? You know what? I, I, I think so. Like, I, I don't know if Apple will stick with the stem for the AirPods Pros. Um, I don't know if they'll stick with that, right? Because I think they have to, like, there's a lot of people have complained about these like slipping out. I, I, I'm one of those type of people where maybe it's my ear, but I, I think it's more so just due to the design of these, where these don't kind of stay in place um, when I'm laying down or, um, or doing things, even just in normal use. I, I find myself having to, you know, do this and get them back in place, where with this type of design, and this is what also what we're seeing with like a lot of the companies going like with the XM4s, um, you get this kind of like stubby design and you put these in your ears, maybe twist them up a little bit. Um, you know, this just looks better in my opinion. So I think, I think, I think the AirPods Pros could have a design maybe closer to this where maybe a little bit more beefier than what you get with the, uh, the, the studio buds here. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know if they'll keep the stem. I don't know if they'll keep that stem, uh, with the, uh, AirPods Pros. I, I like it for the controllers cause you can just squeeze, um, and I like that feeling to be able to go between them, but I think these beats do a good job at allowing you to adjust the different transparency and the noise cancellation mode. So, so yeah, I don't know, but the stem is kind of like a, a signature. I think I'm wrong here, but the stem is kind of like a signature uh, AirPods look. So we'll see. I think I think I would be fine with the stem, but I think if they just make this main part of the the earbud bigger and more robust, I would be happy. So this can get a better fit in my ear. I would be happy with them keeping the stem but making this bigger. Um, the price isn't that bad for 149. Might get these instead of the Power Beats Pros. Yeah, the um, the main advantage of these over something like the Power Beats Pros is going to be. Um, I'm actually show you the biggest thing is just the size of the case. Like I like I really do like the Power Speed Pros um, because of the ear hook design they kind of stay in place in your ear. You don't you don't have to worry about them falling out. But the case is so big, man. It's like I I'm not gonna walk around with that in my I'm not gonna walk around with this in my freaking uh my pocket, right? So um yeah so the case is just really big with the Power Beats Pros, but they do have that ear hook and that's the that's the one advantage of them. But if um, but I, again, I did do a, a run with these in, um, and I had a video of me like running up a hill, but I forgot to bring it over to this computer. Um, and these, these fell in, I don't have to move around and adjust them. So the ear hook, not having the ear hook of the power hook, power beats pros aren't really that big, of, big of a deal for me. Um, but yeah, with ANC transparency mode, better audio quality in some ways, I think the power beats pros are a little bit more bass heavy. So if you do like that base, they, they might still be like the ones you might want to go to. These are a little bit more balanced all around audio, which I personally like. Um, but yeah, these just around the board, I, I just in this modern kind of earbud, wireless earbud days, I would, I would choose these over the Power Beats Pros right now. Sorry, but just to confirm, you feel that these just don't feel as premium as they should for 150, but you're okay with the price. No, 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 no. I think these do feel good for the price. They, I, they, like again, again, compared to the AirPods Pros, they don't have. When it comes to premium, again, it's just like the sound quality is not it's not as good as the AirPods Pros, and the ANC is not as good. But everything else with these build quality, the looks and stuff, I'm happy with them for the price. And for 150 across the board, let's leave the AirPods Pros out of this. For $150, these are some of the best that you can get. These would, just off the top of my head, I think these would be like either one or two as far as like my recommendations uh, for earbuds around this price point. And I think right now, honestly, it might be like the number one for me. 
and I'm trying to think of anything else around this price range that I would. When you just look at the total package for 150, I think it's a, a really good deal. Really good deal. I'm not mad at the price and what you're getting for the price. Um, just for this this entire review, I've just been doing comparisons with the AirPods Pros just to kind of give you a baseline when it comes to Apple's, you know, uh, uh, wireless earbud market. Right there in the middle. Better than AirPods, not better than AirPods Pros. Right there in the middle. It's a good sweet spot. Uh, is the sound quality better than AirPods 2? Yes. Better, the sound quality is better than AirPods 2. Everything is pretty much better than AirPods 2. Uh, B Studio Buds versus App, uh, AirPods Pros sound quality to watch which one wins uh, AirPods Pros. And, and and again, I'm not an audio. I'm not super like trying to find you know inconsistencies with audio when I'm listening to it. Um, the Studio Buds sound really good, you know, especially spatial audio. Um, it sounds really good. Um, but yeah, the AirPods Pros do have that that edge when it comes to just the the cleanness of the sound. I think the spec sheet on these earbuds are hinting towards the likes of the AirPods 3s. Um, no. I, again, the AirPods 3s, I just think, I don't, I, I don't have my, my expectations for the AirPods 3s aren't really like super high, right? Like the AirPods 3, I just think that they're going to maybe have a, they might have a design and the ergonomics may be a little bit like this. I think we'll still see that stem for the AirPods 3s, but um, I think it's just going to have like a better comfortable fit in your ear. Um, and of course, Apple's going to say it, it is going to have better sound quality and stuff, but I, I don't think that we're going to be seeing ANC in transparency mode in the regular AirPods. I don't know. I could be wrong. They could add one of those in it. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't think we would see that in those. Um, now, one thing I, I could see Apple doing is maybe if they don't add like ANC or transparency mode for the AirPods, um, for the, like the regular next version of the regular AirPods, they could do like, they might add wireless charging to the case or something. I don't know, because these don't have wireless charging. Like again, I don't see them giving, none of these earbuds are gonna have like all the same features. So they could do that, but um, yeah. I think the, the regular, Air, the, the next AirPod is just gonna be, the biggest thing is gonna be more ergonomic design. It's gonna feel better in your ear. I think that's gonna be the biggest seller point. Um, the $250 PowerBeats Pro still makes sense at that price now that this is out. Is that, is that how much they still cost? The PowerBeats Pros? They still, they cost $250? Uh, no. The PowerBeats Pros are, I think they're for like $170. Or did you mean the AirPods, AirPods Pros? So the AirPods Pros are $250, but the uh, PowerBeats Pros... The, the hook are about 170. Um, but yeah, so the AirPods Pros at this price point. Um, so I'm assuming you're talking about the, the AirPods Pros. Um, if I had, if I didn't have one, which one would I buy today? If I had a choice. Um, hmm, it's tough. It's tough. For, you can find the AirPods Pros for like around $200 if you're looking in the right places. <laughs> so, um, so if I could find it for that price point, I'm definitely going with the AirPods Pros. I don't know. I think for me, for me, I, I, I would probably still stick with the AirPods Pros. Um, even though I like the fit and feel of these uh, Beat Studio Buds better, I, I would still go with the um, I would still go with the the AirPods Pros if I had to choose. Um, for the number one reason is just, I use a bunch of different Apple products and I'm able to quickly switch between them, um, because it, it uses my iCloud and it knows that I'm going between these devices and I can quickly tap or, and, and be able to get the audio from my iPad or my iPhone or my Mac. And I really like that. I really like that feature. Um, and the ANC is better, but I like the fit and feel of the, the, the B Studio Buds. So I, I would still choose the, the AirPods Pros. Yeah, spatial audio, yes, no, uh, no wireless charging with the case. A little bit of a bummer, but I do like that it does have USB-C. I like that. I liked, I like, I like the USB-C. So, 
Uh, yeah, USB-C port at the bottom versus the Lightning port that you get with the uh, AirPods Pros is good. And yeah, I just think it's one of those things where, uh, like, for me, when I'm not using the iPhone as my main phone, like, I literally now can, like, travel <laughs> just using, you know, USB-C cable for pretty much everything. My MacBook Air, my iPad, all that stuff can just be USB, uh, USB-C. And again, that's just one of those things where Apple is more prone to put USB-C on something like Beats, you know. And um, I think like the next version of the AirPods or the AirPods Pros, I think it still will use a lightning port. That's my assumption. Um, just because you, you just really associate the lightning port to Apple, to an Apple product. Even though the Beats is an Apple product, but it's still, you know, Beats. No problem, no problem. Again, I, I appreciate all these, these questions. Again, this is, so if you're just joining me, this has been like, I, I've been doing this live review here for, um, I don't know how long now. I think it's been over an hour. Um, so you can always scroll back and watch like full on just kind of the regular review part uh, with all the B-roll and stuff. Um, but yeah, we just at this part where it's just answering, uh, answering questions and stuff. So I love this format. I really do like this format. What do you guys think about this live review format where I can just kind of answer questions about the products with you live? And I like it. Um, this or the Galaxy Buds Live. I would choose these over the Galaxy Buds Live. ANC is way better. Um, transparency mode is good. Um, yeah, I would, I, would, I would choose these over the Galaxy Buds Live. Not the Galaxy Buds Pros, but I would choose these over the Galaxy Buds Live. Uh, yeah, it does have Dolby Atmos support. Um, could you explain more on how the ANC sounds like in different situations? Um, it, it's really... Uh, yeah, just so the test that I did, I had like my uh, this projector that I'm, that I'm testing out. I had audio from that going on, and also I had some music coming from my computer. And just when I went between like the AirPods Pros and those things, I, it's just a little bit quieter with the AirPods Pros, even with these uh, B Studio Buds being able to just really get in my ear. And when you is that the right one? No, nope, it's not the right one. Um, but these, uh, being able to get in your ear and kind of naturally block out the noise. So, but when I was testing these, when I was walking out on the street and the cars and stuff like that, it was good enough. Cause again, I typically don't walk around with just ANC on. I'm always listening to something. So when you're outside and you're walking around in the city, um, and things, you're not really going to be hearing things, especially if you're listening to any type of music. So it does a good job at blocking that, that noise out. Um, I just think in really loud situations that I'm assuming, like if I get on a plane or something, um, when I have these in versus like the AirPods Pros, the AirPods Pros will perform better. Um, and like even, even if these are just like 10% better than these, that's a big difference when it comes to loud environments like an airplane. But for everything else, right, walking around, staying at home, having somebody in the other room making noise or watching TV, um, if you're using these and you're listening to something at the same time, um, these are, you're not really going to hear that other stuff. Um, so I'll, I'm liking the ANC for that. What's up? Oh yeah. The biggest thing is just, I'm using a standing desk now. Uh, so this is from Uplift and I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to include this in a video where I cover some of my favorite like office equipment, home office equipment and stuff. Uh, but I, yeah, I love using like a standing desk so I can not just be situated and sitting down. Uh, but yeah, backdrop, a roll looking good. I like it. Appreciate it. Top deck. Top, I said top deck, top tech. Your video is looking crispy now as well. Uh, live review format is fantastic. Wish we had this back in the day. Yeah, I did a lot of like, I love live streaming. I Like if you guys know from back in the day, I did a lot of live streaming on Ustream and then vocal and stuff. So um, I did like a weekly show on Wednesday. So I like live streaming and I like it better. And I think, I think this is just like a different, everyone is doing a well-produced videos these days. And I'm still going to do those type of videos too. Um, but yeah, I just think that is just something different, man. Kind of get out of the, out of the norm. But I still wanted to do like, but I still want to make sure like I still do have like the B-roll and stuff. I have some the B-roll that I can add in. I still want, you know, a little bit of a fit and finish, a little bit of a, you know, some, some extra good stuff with it. Like right? I like this. And uh, so I think the combination of that, instead of just me sitting here just with a top-down shot, um, is what, it's what I'm going for with these live reviews. So I think it's going to be, I think it turned out to be something good. And again, I don't have to edit. As soon as I end this stream, it just lives on YouTube. <laughs> I don't have to edit anything. 
which is sweet, which is sweet. Uh, Galaxy, Buds, uh, Galaxy Buds Plus don't have the best connectivity with Apple devices. Um, yeah, well, I haven't had that. I, I haven't had, had any issues, but I do believe I heard someone else say that too. Um, so yeah, that's been an issue for you, even with the Galaxy Buds. Um, yeah, that's one thing. Yeah, connectivity. If you have have been having those issues, then yeah, these are probably going to be way better for connectivity. But yeah, I haven't had those issues though. Um, I should do these live reviews. I love that you interact with the viewers, share opinions, and stuff like that. Yeah, I like this. I like it. That's the best part about it, right? I, it's not too structured. It's kind of loose. And, um, and yeah, and, and I can already see ways I can improve it and things like that. So, yeah, I, I like it. I like it just kind of, I just start streaming and go. And I think for this, like, I've already been streaming for an hour. People are more kind of, like, likely to hang out or, or listen to the questions and interact versus just, like, an hour-long video or something. Um, but yeah, I like it. So you're kind of confused. There's mixed reviews. Some say it sounds better than AirPods Pros, but others say it doesn't. Yeah, like again, like for me, I said that it sounds, I, I don't, I wouldn't say it sounds better. Like for a lot of the music that I was listening to, I didn't hear like a significant difference with the AirPods Pros. There was just some, a couple of songs that I listened to where I'm like, okay, it, it sounds a little bit fuller. Um, sound stage sound a little bit better with the AirPods Pros, but yeah, it's not, it's not like, I think for just a lot of the stuff I listen to, I, I'm perfectly happy with the, the sound quality from the B-Studio Buds. I'm perfectly happy with them. Um, but yeah, the audio processing and stuff like that could make for something a little bit different. So I would think the gap between sound quality, between these and AirPods Pros, is smaller than the gap between like the A and C. So... I literally would be perfectly fine with listening to anything with these in my ears. Yeah, you also heard someone say that these sound better than the AirPods Pros. Seen that? Uh, but sound can be subjective in some ways. Yeah, it, it, it kind of depends. Like, again, I, I'm not owning when I was trying to, like, really sit there and, and analyze, like, an orchestra that I was listening to, or some, Hans Zim, some Hans Zimmer and stuff. Um, there were times where I just liked the AirPods Pros better. But, yeah, for most of the stuff, it, 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 I, I had a hard time finding, like, differences um, with the sound quality compared to the AirPods Pros. And that alone says a lot to, like, okay. Uh, they did a really good job with the sound for $150. The sound is there. A and C, maybe the audio quality, or maybe the call quality, um, and the transparency modes are those things that you, you can see a bigger difference in um, with these compared with the AirPods Pros. I appreciate that. Thanks for uh, you coming back and stopping by and watching this. I appreciate y'all. Gotta go. Have a great rest of the day. Oh, you too. You too. You have a good day too. Thanks for stopping by. Are these better than the Jabra 85Ts? I haven't tried those out yet, so I can't say. Is the XM4 is that amazing? Yeah. They're really good. <laughs> these are really good. These are really good. The, the A and C on these is really good. So uh, the general consistency of these, like these, for a premium product like these being around $270, like these are... I feel like you're getting what I'm paying for with these X-Imports from Sony. Good sound quality. How's the fit in the ear compared to the AirPods Pros? Um, you know, I, I would say I like the, the fit in my ears with these over the AirPods Pros because of the their design. They go in, you can kind of twist them a little bit, and they just have more contact with the inside of your ear. Um, that ear tip goes a little bit, maybe just a little bit deeper in my ear versus with the AirPods Pros where... Um, these still, like these, these don't, like these still, feel, these feel lighter than the, um, uh, uh, studio buds, but I just, in my experience, I find myself having to reach up and adjust these from time to time when I, when I am wearing them and, or they slip out just a little bit and then that can degrade the audio quality and also the, um, active noise cancellation because you don't have that tight seal in your ear. 
So if I had to choose one as far as for a fit, I'm going with these. I'm going with the Studio Buds because these aren't coming out of my head. Even if I lay down, I think I'm very confident with these staying in my ear. Have you ever done a uh, bio video? Reason I'm asking because of your name? No. My name is Mark, Mark Watson. <laughs> that does sound weird. I don't think I ever say my, my regular name on here. Um, but yeah, I have thought, of, thought about doing a kind of an update video just um, on this entire journey in my second or third part of my career, second or third chapter of my career. Oh, oh yeah. I do miss the Army. Uh, what kind of distance can you get, say, you're pairing to your TV or something? You can get a good amount of distance. Yeah, if you're indoors, I can walk from here and I can go all the way to the other side of my, not all the way to the other side, but I, yeah, distance is good. Because using, uh, I believe, what is it, Bluetooth 5 point, uh, I forgot which one off the top of my head that it's using. But yeah, this is, if you're just like sitting in front of your TV, you know, no issues at all. The Bluetooth distance will be able to um, have you pretty well. Yeah, you, you should be able to get up in your room and go to another room, maybe even two rooms down the way and you still should be able to stay connected. Um, you hate the fit of the AirPods because of the back round part of the earbuds, it hurts your ears. So how do these uh, fit compared to the AirPods fit? Yeah, just even with like the regular AirPods, yeah, these are more comfortable. So I, I, think, these, I think that these are more comfortable than the AirPods Pros and the regular AirPods. Um, as far as how they fit in my ear, they're, they're, uh, and when I say comfortable, the biggest thing is just like staying in my ear. And I, I just, when I've worn these for like 90 minutes, I think the longest I just wore them straight. Uh, they didn't move I, and they sat in my ear and I just wasn't messing around and fidgeting with them um, that I do with the regular AirPods and the AirPods Pros. Uh, you heard the case is slippery. Yeah, I did a, like a little uh, test with that. It is slippery. You know, it's, it's, it's more slippery than the AirPods Pro case. I will say that. Um, and uh, somebody asked a question earlier, would, would it be like bad if they're working out and they're wearing like, you know, some shorts, some loose fitting shorts or something, and they're in the gym or something, um, and maybe they're doing like a bench press or something. Um, I don't know. I mean, are they going to slip out? I mean, possibly, but I don't know. The slippery is another case, just not, not something that I ever kind of ran into an issue with. But it is, it is slippery. It is a slippery case versus like more of a matte type of, Finish with the XM4 case. Yeah, this one just feels like you do have just a little bit, just slightly more texture there or something to not make it as slippery. Have I been watching E3? Yeah, I've been watching some of the stuff. Um, I haven't been watching as much as I, I need to. So, yeah, I saw Battlefield. Well, I don't think that that was exclusive to E3, but, um, yeah, I saw the, the Battlefield uh, gameplay video, which looks sweet. Um, Microsoft definitely is bringing some heat this year. So yeah, I got I got to get I have to get a little bit of caught up on E3 though. Very nice format. You must do it much more often. I will. I will. I will. I like I like the uh the live streams here. Uh, can these connect to two to consoles such as Nintendo Switch? Well, Nintendo Switch doesn't have uh you can't connect right away not with like a, an adapter to be to connect to the Switch. But the PS4 uh like the PS or PlayStation or the Xbox. Um uh, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to remember, so I'm not sure. I haven't, I haven't tried to do it with those. Because I know one of them you can, one of them you can't, I believe. I think, would it work with the Xbox, possibly? I'm not sure. I'm thinking it won't work with the PlayStation, like PlayStation 5. Somebody correct me. I don't want to say something wrong. Um, how does the case compare with the AirPods Pro case? Um, yes, yeah, so I did a uh, kind of a side by side with the uh, cases here, and I'll show you. So here's a look at the uh, case comparison, the size comparison. The case is a little bit bigger than the AirPods Pro case, as you can see. Definitely smaller than smaller than the PowerBeats Pro's case, which is a good thing. But yeah, it's a little bit bigger than the uh, AirPods Pro case. Still very pocketable though. But again, here's the Power Beast Pros. <laughs> Just look at that size difference. That is huge. That was the worst part about the Power Beast Pros. 
Uh, do you think Beats by Dr. Dre are starting to care about people these days? They seem to level up every year. They're starting to care about people? Um, I don't know about that. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, like, either way they care about people. I, I think what, what I've seen is that they're kind of um, the fit and finish of their products is getting better. And I think that's where that Apple influence has come into. I think that's the best part of the acquisition of uh, Beats by Dr. Dre from Apple, uh, by Apple, is the fit and finish is I'm liking, right? The fit and finish is there. Um, but yeah, I, I think, yeah, because I think a lot of us maybe had thought that, you know, eventually by at this point, Apple would have just like swallowed up Beats and just kind of like taken in that branding and stuff and then just only focus on their AirPods branding. Um, but Apple still seems to be very confident and very like, set on really continuing this Beats brand, which I think is a good thing. It gives them that separation and that like, hey, you can talk about how good this works on Android, you get USB-C, like this is good for everyone. Where with the AirPods and stuff like that, that still is like Apple's own baby and they always wanna promote that with iPhones and with Mac products and stuff. Um, but yeah, I think Beats, you know, I, again, I, I honestly thought maybe Beats might not have been keep, kept going on just because maybe Apple just wanted to put all the attention towards the AirPods, you know, years ago. But yeah, they're still going strong and I like it. Uh, compare the case of the XM4s and the Beats. Apologize if I did that. No, I haven't done that yet. And my, let me see where they are. Let me put these Beats inside of this in their case. And my top-down camera, for some reason, the battery died. I didn't get to do like a reset on that. I'll try that here in a second. But here's like a quick side-by-side. -side. And I have the autofocus on my face and eyes only, so it's not going to like focus on this. But you can get an idea of the size difference between these two right here. And then also two. There's a little side-by-side. -side. So it looks like it's a little bit skinnier, but definitely taller and wider than the XM4 case. Maybe this is a better, yeah, it's a better shot right here for you. There you go. I'm surprised that Apple finally uses USB-C on headphones. <laughs> yeah, again, this is like the the AirPods for Android, right? Um, yeah. I wish it was USB-C everything, but I think slowly but surely they're getting into it. Uh, maybe in a couple years, I don't know. I think eventually they either have to like maybe release some updated lightning spec or something um, or just make that switch to USB-C. We'll see what happens in the next couple of years. Uh, so you missed the live stream earlier. How's, how does the sound quality compare with the AirPods Pros? Uh, yeah, so, you know, it, it, just a quick hit, hit on this again. The, um, in some ways, like, I think a lot of the time, the sound difference between these and the AirPods Pros were very similar, in my opinion, to my, again, my non-calibrated ears. Um, but there were a couple of cases where I liked the sound coming from the AirPods Pros. Uh, I like the sound stage a little bit better on that. But those cases were, weren't, like, to the point to where I was like, all right, I'm only, I would only use the AirPods Pros over these. So the sound quality, just the audio quality, is really solid. Not super bass heavy as we experienced from Beats products in the past, but more balanced. Um, but then, and pretty much all around, they're better than the regular AirPods. Um, and with the PowerBeats Pros, I would say that these are, again, less best bass heavy as the PowerBeats Pros, but again, a more balanced and clean sound. So I, I would take these over, definitely over the PowerBeats. The, is ANC good? You live in, U, in NYC and there's loud noises everywhere from um, honking to homeless people screaming at you. It's good. Not better than the AirPods Pros, but it's good. Um, now, New York is a, it's a totally different beast. So I'm out here in St. Louis and I did like a walk around test. Um, it is not as like as many noises as, as New York. Um, so, but when I was walking around, I had ANC on. It was fine. It was quiet. And I, but again, I never like only use ANC only and not have any music playing. So if you're trying to do that, like if you just like to just be able to drown out the noise and not listen to anything, um, the AirPods Pros are definitely gonna be better for that. 
But these do a really good job. They do a really good job. So I, I think it would hold up well in New York. But again, I, I, I'm out here in St. Louis, so it's not as much noise. But I think it would hold up well, especially if you're listening to music or, or a podcast or an or audio book or something. It'll be fine. So again, it was, it was like maybe 15. So the, audit, so the, the ANC compared to like the AirPods Pros is maybe like 15% worse. Are Beats going to release headphones to compete against the AirPods Max? I don't know. I don't think I've heard any rumors about that. That would be, but I don't. I don't think they would, because that just the price range. Um, Cause they still do over the ear head, head headphones, but um, if you're trying to compete with the AirPods Max, the price is going to have to go up. And I think the Beats branding is more, more really more focused on being affordable. Um, if I'm assuming, because I forgot. Yes, I don't think they'll go like super that type of high quality. They're they're more for like they're going to be using athletes to promote this. This is this is more of a younger, you know, kind of brand and vibe and stuff like that, colorful and stuff. So yeah, I don't think they'll compete with the AirPods Max. I appreciate it. I've been watching for about eleven years. Love my reviews. Keep it coming. How would you compare the sound quality of the Beats? To the Sennheiser, so yeah, to the the momentums, um, I would say, I don't know, I didn't do like a side by side test, um, but I I think it it would it would it would be similar to my opinion of the uh, the AirPods Pro uh, comparison with these, where I think the Sennheiser would have those times that it does sound better, um, but yeah, when I was listening to these beats, it sounded good, and I, I was just listening to different songs and. I don't know. Like I again, my my ears aren't super calibrated. I'm not an audiophile. It sounded really good. It sounded really good compared to the AirPods Pros. But there were just some songs, some songs where all right, the AirPods Pros shine a little bit better. And I, I'm a, and I'm assuming that would be the same way with the um, the Sennheisers as well. There would be just some some cases where it would sound better, where on the Beats. Um, but then compared to like the Beats, it would be a lot of cases where you know, depending on your preference, it'll sound good enough, and and just really right there with it. Uh, Foster said in his real review that it's more bass heavy than the AirPods Pros. Um, yeah, I would say, I would say, yeah. So I talked about earlier where compared to the previous Beats products, I would say that it's not as bass heavy as some of the previous things out there. But compared to the AirPods Pros, um, yeah, I would say, I don't know. I would, I, I'm just trying to remember, like, is the bass really that much heavier? Maybe a little bit, um, but nothing that really just jumped out to me. I was just more, I just really like that, just how balanced they sounded. Is this, uh, is this more worth it than the AirPods because they are both the same price? Yeah, like the AirPods Pros, I think the, the, the regular MSRP or whatever is still like, what, 250 But yeah, I think you can find the AirPods Pros for maybe around $200. So these are still... Maybe even less. So I think these are still going to be generally cheaper than the AirPods Pros. But um, the biggest thing, yeah, it would be like the ANC. Because I, I do sometimes like to use earbuds on a plane. If, if When I sit down on a plane for the first time or something, the noise cancellation would be good. But these buds, these studio, the studio buds are really good. They're really good all around. But I would personally still maybe go with the AirPods Pros. Mostly just because I love being able to quickly jump from one Apple product to another um, and not have to reconnect via Bluetooth and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I would still go with those. And I think that's the biggest advantage, one of the biggest advantages. Uh, just do that one. Um, is Spatial Audio and Dolby Atmos worth it, or is it just a gimmick? Also, do uh, the new Beast earbuds have spatial? Yeah, they, they support spatial audio. Um, so, yeah, I would say that, um, no, no, Dolby Atmos and Spatial Audio is definitely not a gimmick. So, the, Apple does have a playlist um, in Apple Music where you can listen to songs. You can hear a difference. They do have one, I think, with Zane. Uh, um, I think in that playlist, the first, the number one track is actually um, them like giving you an example of going from mono to stereo and then to uh, uh, Dolby Atmos and spatial audio. And when they did that, you can really hear the differences and they did a really good job at showing you 
how like it sounds like the instruments and the vocals sound like a little bit more spaced out and separated, but that's a good thing because it doesn't sound just kind of jumbled up. Um, and it really just make it feels like you're in the room when people are recording it. So it's not a gimmick at all. It sounds really good. And most of the movies that I go to right now, I go, I go look at in Dolby Cinema, which has Dolby uh, Atmos and Dolby Vision. So yeah, Dolby Atmos is really good. And also, uh, Jonathan Morrison, TLD Today, he did a, a good video on talking about um, um, Dolby Atmos and stuff like that. I think it was his last video that he put out. So go check that out. It's a really good kind of explanation. Get the stream to 100 likes. You dog, you dog on right. I was about to curse. <laughs> Get those likes up. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, the best ANC is when you listen to music. On max volume, yeah. Like most A and C, like you know, I do listen to my music very loud. But it's just really the, the biggest time that I'm really wanting A and C to really be at its best is when I'm on a plane, um, and that's the biggest thing for me. You listen to uh, this video right now from the Power Beats Pros. Uh oh, are you thinking about upgrading? Uh, when are they coming to the UK? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Check out their press release. Um, I'm not sure they talked about when they're going to be released in the UK. They, I'm pretty sure they have, but yeah, I don't know off the, off the top of my head. Can you pair two Bluetooth devices at once? No. Best Beats earbuds, um, yeah, it's kind of between the Power Beats Pros and these. These, these are the best Beats earbuds right now. Um, definitely best all around for the price, and I just think the best in general when, of the feature set and what you get. Uh. Oh, between the original AirPods. Oh, yeah, for sure. These are better. Do the AirPods still cost 150 That seems expensive. Okay, yeah, so the AirPods second gen with the wireless charging case cost 200 And I think the regular ones... Yeah, the regular AirPods are $159. Wow. Um, yeah, I would say these are better. Again, you get A and C. You get transparency mode. Um, and the sound quality is better. So, yeah, the, the AirPods have the H1 chip inside of them. That's pretty much the only kind of, like, advantage that they have over these so yeah i would definitely go with the the uh with these galaxy beats studio I, did i say galaxy <laughs> with the beat studio buds hey what's up max world famous max the the apple insider find those tags <laughs> good job oh thanks 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 appreciate it Um, how solid is the hinge when you open it compared to the AirPods Pros? It's actually, well, it's kind of hard. I've been, I, like, I've been using these. I did a comparison before, and it was a little bit more solid. Like, it's a little bit more, you know, stiffer in a good way. But I have been using these AirPods Pros for, I don't know, how long now? Like, what, what has it been, two years now? Year, year and a half, whatever? So, like, I've been opening up this case a lot versus how many times I've been opening up the case in this. So, I can't wait, really say, like, over time, are these going to get as loose as these, which is possible. Um, but it is good. Like it doesn't, it's not going to move. So he's not going to move easily. Um, really good stiffness to them. They're good. You can close them with one hand. So good. Um, what color do I prefer? Well, I did red just for the video. I think it'll look better on the thumbnail, but I typically go, you know, black with my earbuds. Um, but I'm liking this red. The red looks good. The red looks good, but but if I like, we're gonna buy these. I would go with uh, the black. 
Uh, when do you think the Galaxy Fit 3 will be released and how much do you think it will cost? The Galaxy Fit 3, what are those? Are oh, you talking about the little uh, workout band? I don't know. I, I, haven't, I haven't really been following the uh, Galaxy Fit, so I don't know. Yeah, I haven't heard any rumors about the Galaxy Fits, and I'm looking it up now. You need the Galaxy Beat Studios? They're good. They're good. A good price. Again, they sit right there between the AirPods and the AirPods Pros. Good price. Uh, is the ANC better on the Studio Buds or the AirPods Pros? The AirPods Pros, the ANC is better. It's about 15% better, right? Um, so, yeah, I would choose those just for ANC. Um, how do these compare to the Galaxy Buds Plus? Um, I have those and the Power Beats, but you're convincing me to buy the new Beats. Um, Galaxy Buds Plus. I haven't used those in a while. Uh, I've been using the Galaxy Buds Pro and the Galaxy Buds Live. Um, hmm. I, 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 I don't want to, like, okay, yeah, I haven't used the Galaxy Buds Pro, uh, Pluses in a long time. So... I haven't done like a side by side comparison, so I really can't tell you which one would be better without doing like a side by side. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll have to look. In, I don't want to say which one is which because I would just be like making an assumption um, on that without having to listen to it. But definitely over the Galaxy Buds Live and also the the Power Beast Pros, I I like these better than those two right now personally for me. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think the Galaxy. You know what I would. Just going off of, just from what I can remember, I would, I would probably choose these over the Galaxy Buds Plus. I'll probably choose these. Yes, these are, these are really easy to take out. So um, one of the things that Apple did with the design of these is that because of the, so it has this part right here that you can just grab and pinch and now you can easily just put these in and out of your ears with no issues. And to control these, you have a button here right at the top that you can press. You can press and hold. You can, you know, single, double, and triple tap to be able to control the playback controls and stuff. Uh, but, yeah, when you press and hold, you switch between the uh, transparency modes, ANC modes and stuff. And when you do that, um, just press that button. And But when you're ready to take these out, you just kind of pinch these right here and you pull them out. So you're not pressing the button, you're not squeezing anything, you just do that, and you're not going to have um, a lot of accidental touches. So, yeah, very easy to put in my ear and take out, so I like that. So, yeah, that's one thing I for sure like over the AirPods Pro is, is the fit and feel of these um, in my ear and that they stay put, so I like that. Uh, you mean is it easy to take the buds um, out from the case comparing uh, to the Huawei Buzz Pro. Uh, I haven't used a Huawei's, but yeah, it's easy. So, uh, pretty easy, take in and out. Let me show you. Because again, just like what I just showed you with my ear, you just kind of grab and pinch, you just pinch the side of it. Boom. And, of course, I drop it. I'm trying to do it in, <laughs> with it facing away from me. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's easy to take in and out of the case. So, yeah, I, I like that, the, uh, the design. And that's one thing. It, they probably have a little bit better than the, uh, even the XM4s. Let me see. Well, the XM4 is not that bad. These are chunky, but, yeah, you just grab the side of them. But because of the touch controls, you, there, there is probably more of a chance that you might accidentally touch uh, this when you're trying to grab on the outside to pull them out. So, Uh, do you hurt your ears when you press the physical button? Um, no. So um, the button actually sits um, at the top. So it's above the, the Beats logo right there. So it's right here at the top. So when you do press down on it, it's not like digging in your ear, right? As it would, if they put the button down here, then yeah, you'll be like pressing in your ear and stuff. That wouldn't be nice. Um, but because the button here is at the top, you're like pressing and it's kind of going up to this part of your ear. So it doesn't hurt at all, and you, you don't you don't need to apply and you don't need to apply a lot of pressure to it at all. I know I was talking away from the microphone. Sorry, audio quality went bad. Um, but yeah, you don't have to uh, 
it doesn't it doesn't hurt at all when you press down that button, which is nice. Um, have I tried? What is that? I don't even know how to say that. The DV Alet Gemini. Uh, I know they are a lot more expensive, but it's the price gap. Just no, I, I haven't tried those yet. I can't even say the name. <laughs> but are they cool? Uh, just arrived. How's the audio quality compared to the AirPods Pros? In some cases, the AirPods Pros are def are better, in my personal opinion. But most of the time, the audio quality is really neck and neck for me. Um, and just like I just couldn't hear like a significant difference between the two most of the time. Um, yeah, and it, and, it, and it was like sometimes the Beats might sound a little bit better. Um, sometimes the AirPods Pro sound better. Like it's it's good. It's really good for one hundred and fifty dollars um, compared to the two. It's just like I did listen to a couple of songs where I, I just personally liked the AirPods Pros better, but that's not like every song is not like every single thing. So. Um, the sound quality is the last thing you would worry about with these. Um, compared to the AirPods Pros, you just see a little bit more of a gap with the ANC, the transparency modes. Um, but audio quality, you'll like them. Like again, there's more balanced, a more balanced sound coming out of these. Can I do an ANC comparison? Um, not right now. I can't do. I can't. I don't, I don't have the setup to do like an ANC comparison for you. Um, but yeah, I just used it, you know, walking around and stuff. I did a test where I had some audio and music in here playing, and the ANC on the on the AirPods Pros were were a little bit better, like fifteen percent better. So better to the point to where I think if I'm trying to go on a plane and I'm I'm saying things, I got phones over there buzzing. Um, but um, yeah, the ANC on the AirPods Pros is, is better. So, did you wait for the new AirPods? It depends. I, I I don't know if like the regular AirPods are going to get like ANC or something, right? It just I don't know. We, we'll see. It could. They could make something that compares, competes with this, but that would be. I don't know. I don't know. The biggest thing with the new AirPods, I would think, is just the fit and feel of them. They're going to really, really focus on that. Um, but we'll see. So, I, And the issue is I just – we don't know when that's when they're going to release. They could wait until the fall. They could wait until the holiday season. Um, we don't know when those new AirPods are coming out. They could wait to announce them alongside the new iPhones. Who knows? So you could be waiting anywhere from a month to you know, maybe three, <laughs> three months or so. So um, whether you should wait or not, I don't know. Right? I, I wouldn't – I don't think that we're going to see the new AirPods within the next few weeks, next couple of months. I don't think so. So I would probably go ahead and get these. And then if they do release them, say they do give them ANC in transparency mode, are they going to be, are the odds of them being like significantly better than what you get on these? Possibly, but I would, I would lean more towards not. I would think if they do kind of go the route that they're going with these, um, it, it could be either the same or marginally better. So, I don't know. I, if I was you, if I needed, like, a new pair of earbuds right now, I would go with these Beats. But, yeah, the new AirPods could get, like, you know, they'll have, like, the, the, the share pairing where you can use them on your different devices. So, that, that, that would be nice, but I don't know. Just because I, I, I just haven't heard anything about them releasing them anytime soon, I might lean towards getting these uh, the Beats right now. In my opinion, which one of these would I use the most? Like between the AirPods Pros and the Beats? You know, honestly, um, for working out, running, stuff like that, I'm going to be using these more. So, yeah, that's kind of like, yeah. So for those cases, I, I, I could see myself using these more day to day than the AirPods Pros. Um, if I needed to make a choice between these, if I'm traveling or something, I'm probably going to go with the the AirPods Pros. Um, but yeah, just because I, I would want to use these for working out, going for running, uh, because these do have that transparency mode and the fit the fill of these are better, I'll probably be picking up these a little bit more than the AirPods Pros. But when I'm at home and I'm like and I am using my earbuds to use my iPad and stuff like that, I'm going going to AirPods Pros all day. 
<laughs> going to planes. What are planes? It's been so long. Yeah, I know it's been a while. Yeah, I've taken a couple of flights. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I, I was at the point when everything started going down where I was getting really kind of tired of traveling. Like in tech, like we were going, to, we had to go to all the shows and the briefings. And I was traveling a lot, like every other week, sometimes every week <laughs> for a stretch there. Uh, at certain points in the year, but uh, but yeah, having this long break of traveling, I'm I'm excited to kind of get get out and moving again a little bit better. Okay, so I've been streaming a lot longer than I thought I would be. <laughs> so I think I've been going almost two hours now. So I'm about to head out. I have another video I have to work on and get done today uh, that I might actually be uploading today or I may do it tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm about to head out. I appreciate everyone joining for as long as you did. Uh, if you just came out, um, I did like my main review review port portion of these um, in the beginning, like the first 20, 30 minutes of this video. So um, go check that out. Um, you can just use a DVR and just go back to it um, in the beginning. Uh, but yeah, I, I really like doing these live formats and hanging out with you all and answering your questions. And uh, again, just let me know how do you like these? You want to see more more of these in the future? I, I don't mind doing them. Um, I think these are a good good direction um, for me. But yeah, like always, I really do appreciate you guys checking it out. Uh, if you want to check these out on Amazon, link is below. Um, what else? Yeah, stay tuned for more stuff, more heat coming. I appreciate y'all. Greetings from Peru. Oh, man. Appreciate that. Yeah, I'm trying to grind. I'm trying to grind. <laughs> All right, let me get out of here. All right, again, thanks, thanks, thanks for y'all watching. I will see you next time. Uh, if you're new here, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I upload new videos and I go live. But like always, I am out of here. Peace. And again, here's that outro. Let me find the end broadcast button after I already did my piece. And okay, I got it. All right, peace for real this time. <laughs> see y'all.